Evan, that's right. They say he should only be charged for the armed robbery since he wasn't the one who killed Stavian Rodriguez that night. Now, Cheatham has admitted to helping plan out that robbery the night Stavian was killed, but Cheatham left the scene before officers arrived, according to court documents. However, Cheatham was still charged with first degree murder because in Oklahoma, you can be charged with felony murder. Now that applies when someone dies as a result of a certain type of felony being committed. Today, we heard from local advocates who say this is wrong since none of the officers have been charged. I also spoke to Cheatham's mother today and talked to her about how she felt about her son being charged in Stavian's murder. It hurts, it hurts. Um... It's sickening. Uh, it's like a nightmare that never goes away for me right now. Um, and for my son as well. He feels terrible. He, he feels because his friend died. He's mourning the death of his friend mm -hmm. on top of having to deal with being charged with his murder. And Amanda, Amanda adds right after that that her son regrets ever going inside that store. She also says she's not making excuses for what he did that night, but that he should only have a robbery charge. Also tonight, still no updates on the case from Oklahoma City Police. Reporting live tonight, Paris Jones, KOCO 5 News.